four goals scored in one, one scored in the other. Five goals in total for one night in two matches. Man City one, Atletico Madrid nil, Benfica one, Liverpool three. And this has set the stage for even more drama tomorrow. And guys, guys, at least based on David's confidence, he feels that it's going to be Man City progressing over Atletico in the second leg, courtesy of this one new victory. But I think if you want to bet on any team nowadays, eh, you can be more confident with Liverpool progressing, right? Absolutely. I think tie over. Uh, when the draw was made, we, they were the most lucky when it comes to uh, teams that are ranked outside uh, to win the Champions League. And here they are, uh, Benfica have been robbed uh, to their underpants right in front of their own home fans at the stadium that lose there. You could see this disappointment on the faces of the players. They wanted more, they expected more. Uh, it would appear that they raised every, they gave everything, talking about Benfica. But when that third goal was brutally dispatched by Luis Diaz, this thing was just taken out of this matchup. And that was when they knew their faith has been condemned. I'm feeling the slaughter ground. Liverpool could just decide to just turn it up, score more than two, three goals, you know, just to make sure that they send out a statement for whoever that's going to come up against them in the semi final. But for City, uh, of course, after uh, so much puddling and probing, uh, from the team overall, it was Phil Foden who came up from the bench to unlock the defense line. Very nice partnership with Kevin De Bruyne. But later stages of the game was littered with niggles and disagreement. Jagrilish dramatically involving in brawl with the players. I felt that was what they wanted. But like I said, I remain my my I maintain my stance. This tie is not over. Yes, there's a possibility that Manchester City to, could go through. This game could be this goal single goal could be crucial. But well, you don't know what you're going to get at the Wanda Metropolitano. The, uh, Deguio Simone can decide to make the pitch so wide for Man City to cover. So a lot, if, if it's up to two goals, I could say, okay, yeah, that City are one foot into the semi-final. But it's just one. They can decide to score one and everyone is on parity. So in football, you never say never. City are favorite, but it's not yet over until it's over. Indeed. And uh, David... It's almost over for us in the studio for this evening, at least. I guess so. Um, <laughs> the, the, the night didn't end any other way than we thought. City won, Liverpool won. Um, I still maintain, you know, Manchester City have won this tie. Uh, this was the most difficult part. Um, <laughs> it, it, it will probably get more difficult at the Wanda Metropolitano, but you are always in the positive when you have the ball, and City always have the ball. Atletico Madrid, I don't know, for some reason, they seem to just have a problem with the ball. They don't want it. And when you don't have the ball, you will struggle. You don't go defending for 90 minutes and say you are going to get away with it. You will struggle. That is what football is. You score goals by having the ball. If you don't have the ball, you will struggle. So good one for them. Um, we'll be back here in a week um, to see out this one. But I have no doubt in my mind City is going to coast through. Liverpool also, of course, that's a done deal. Yeah.